Well, would you like to say thank you one more time? The Evangel University Jazz Combo. Fantastic. Super job. Great. Well, let me add my Merry Christmas to them. My name, my name is Mike Brakes. I'm the president here at Evangel, and I would like you to help me welcome also a special guest, uh, Dr. Carol Taylor, who is the former president of Evangel University. She's usually here. I haven't seen her yet. As Carol, are you? This is Evangel University's 39th annual Christmas concert, and we are so excited, so glad that you're here. The young people have been working hard, practicing hard, that their uh, efforts and energies to glorify God through their talents and their crafts uh, would also bless you during this Christmas season. I also would like you to help me welcome and thank the head of our uh, music department, our, our music department chair, Dr. Tom Matrone. Tom, would you stand and make these folks... Something that you probably have not heard yet, but if you like tonight's uh, performance on Christmas Day at 11 o'clock on KY3, you'll be able to catch most of the players and the singers that you see here uh, as we have a whole hour to showcase the talents of Andrew University and celebrate Christmas together. It's going to be great. We want to thank the Salvation Army. We're excited to hear from them uh, about midway through the program. We're really, really glad that you're here. In fact, why don't you stand uh, right before we uh, get started. Why don't you stand and let's open in prayer together. We, we know who uh, is the reason for a season like this. Dear Jesus, we are grateful that you came, that you came for us, and that you are Emmanuel with us, both then and also now. We just pray if there are heavy hearts in the room or challenges going on, that those would fade in the background for this hour or so, and we would uh, think about you, your gifts to us, and the gift of one another, and the gift of Evangel University music to us tonight. We bless your name and give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Say hi to the person standing nearby. We're getting ready to start.
was born in danger. Son of God is here today.
I don't even know that I belong up here. This group has been fabulous. All of the participants so far, absolutely. And I know that we are not done yet. Um, I've seen the program and I can only imagine if the second portion after I get up, if I'm the one holding us up, I promise I will keep you short. But I do wanna, I, I do wanna kind of throw Chris in under a bus who's kind of set this thing up for me. I said, so how much time do I have? And she goes, well, we don't have a guest speaker this time, so you've got a little bit of time, there's no rush. And I said, you realize you've just given a pastor no time <laughs> Not a good idea. But I am, my name is Major Amos Shields. My wife and I are the new uh, co-pastors and co-administrators for the Salvation Army here in the Springfield area. And we have uh, been here since July and have, are coming to love this area. Uh, it is beautiful at all times. Um, and Evangel has come out strong in supporting us. And we are grateful for that. Um, as we, uh, to this time of year, the Salvation Army is seen all over the place. Uh, you see our kettles, you see our trucks, you see our vans, they're all driving around and, and uh, helping individuals. You've seen us on the news with the, our, our Thanksgiving lunch and, and other opportunities that we've had to communicate and uh, a care and love for people of this community. But not just for us on behalf of you, on behalf of individuals and donors and supporters of our agency and our organization um, in this community. You give us the opportunity to say to individuals who are down and out having a rough moment of life, hey, we care about you. We, you're not alone in this. You're not walking alone in this journey. We are a part of what's going on. Sometimes we're, we're behind the scenes. You don't see us at disasters and situations, but we're there. We're walking with families as they're experiencing heartache and brokenness. And we're grateful because you trust us enough to be the hands and feet of Jesus in, in the world that we live in. As we continue to focus on faith and raising funds or doing canned good drives or food drives or whatever the case may be, we do our very best to, and our mission is to preach the gospel message, to meet human needs without discrimination. And we do everything that we can to let individuals know that God has an army of people supporting those who are in need. Love has an army. You and I are a part of that army. It's not the Salvation Army, but it's believers across the globe who come out and reach and, and support and encourage individuals. This season is we're working to raise our goal. Our funds that we raise during this time of year, they allow us to serve individuals all year round. It's not just during the holiday season. You've seen in, in the video, you've seen uh, the number of meals that we've served, the, the number of shelter nights that we offer. You, you've seen some of those things. You may have even helped your neighbor, whether you realize it or not. But we appreciate the opportunity to offer hope and joy and love to those around us in Greene County. With the support of the community, we've been able to provide 85,000 meals. Uh, we've been able to provide hundreds of nights of shelter to the unsheltered. We have provided financial support, uh, rent, utilities, prescription support to seniors, food support to seniors, even on weekends. We've had children programming, after school programming. It just, the list could go on. And every time I, I every day I'm here, I find, out some, I find out something new that we do, and I'm amazed. I've been with the Salvation Army for a lot of years, fourth generation. I thought I knew everything. No, not even a chance. This community continues to remind me that love has an army. And we're all a part of that army. We're all a part of the support of our neighbors in this community. In the book of Romans, Paul writes, For just as each one of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ we, though many, form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. 
We have different gifts according to the grace given to each one of us. Love must be sincere. Honor one another above yourselves. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. This is a great reminder for us that we are all connected to each other. This music, this, this celebration, the reason we're here celebrating, and, and not just celebrating the students, you are fabulous, but also celebrating, as, as the president said earlier, we are here because there's a reason for the season. And he has brought us all together. And we are grateful that you have allowed us to come and be a part of this. To be a part of celebrating with uh, individuals in this community. And I want to publicly, even now, say thank you to you. Thank you for trusting the Salvation Army to meet human needs without discrimination. Thank you for trusting the Salvation Army to share the gospel message of Jesus Christ. Thank you for trusting the Salvation Army enough to be a part of the Army of God. Thank you for helping us to be the hands and feet of Jesus as we serve and offer hope to others and remind them that love has an army. God bless you all.
creation, doesn't it? Creativity, even when God created the heavens and the earth and the stars were formed and took their place and all gave praise to God and the animals in the sea and on the land, all in their own way gave praise to God and humanity, Adam and Eve, before and even after the fall, gave praise to God they did so because they were seen by him. In the Old Testament, the book of Samuel, it becomes clear that the peoples around the people of Israel thought their king was a god. And uh, the Israelites wanted a king. They needed something visual. And they asked for a king. And finally, um, Samuel the prophet gives them a king after conversations with the Lord. And, and yet we see the a warning that God gives and says, well, your, your king is actually a man. He's not a God. He's, he's going to recruit your young people. He's going to take offerings from you that you didn't offer. And, and uh, then 
the incarnation happens. Jesus doesn't just come in the form of a baby. He comes as a baby so that God says in this new era, this, this uh, amazing revelation that the king, God the king, actually is a baby. And he's among us and with us and he walks out your life and mine. My, my wife and I, when we go into holidays, there are always moments in the holiday season that are difficult for us. Our 27-year-old daughter lost her battle with cancer and, and so there's an empty place at the spot where she's supposed to be and, and the bench that was supposed to hold all of our grandchildren there is empty. And, Probably in this room, everybody, everybody has had some kind of suffering that hits you. And in moments like this, in moments like this, it, it is both joyful but also gratifying to know that there is a God who sees us. Just as he saw Adam and Eve, just as Jesus came and walked this earth and uh, spoke and saw and accomplished so much, God sees you where you're at tonight and sees what you're going through and and uh, in many ways we celebrate what the Salvation Army does tonight not just because it's a tradition at Evangel but because they see those that are often not seen by us or not seen by society so tonight whatever you're going through whether it's the most joyous season ever we just had our our my son just had gave us our third well my daughter-in-law gave us our third grandchild my son is <laughs> still being raised by her but uh, <laughs> there is so much to be grateful for so as i hear the talents and see and feel the music tonight i can't help but think not only not only do we see them and not only do we get to sense their own heart and passion for god and, uh, and for community but but we we know god sees them he knows who they are he knows their story already from beginning to end, the scripture says. And so it's an awesome privilege to have you here to celebrate these moments that are ours. And the, the team are going to come and close with a couple of numbers, but we are so glad that you're here. And if it's okay with you, I would just like to pray a prayer of blessing. God, I, I pray over every person here from the very front row to, to the deepest row in the balcony. I bless them in the name of Jesus, that name which is above every name, that name that accomplished so much and not only came back from the dead, resurrected by your power, God, but, but also now gives us all hope for those loved ones we've lost that have gone before. We will see them again, all because of the power and the kingship that was in that little baby. We give you praise, we give you thanks, and we celebrate it on this great evening together, in this delightful time. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and everyone said, Amen.